come to Jamaica, the island of real bad man. Some real dog at you throw some real gang bang. No run for the fair, the knock your bitch man. Stop up! These are the moments when everybody gonna load it. We not instigate violence But we believe in the self-defense No matter what These are the moments When every gangsta gun loaded We not instigate violence But we believe in the self-defense In Jamaica's relentless war and crime The worst criminals end up on the true island stories platform These are their stories Welcome to True Island Stories. How are you all doing today? This is your guru speaking. Yes, and um, we're going to talk about another version. A bonus video, if you will, of Gilly Priest the Gateman. Some important facts were left out. Purposely? Well, <laughs> that's for me to know. And you to find out. <laughs> but before we venture into Gilly Priest's storied past, I just want to make mention of the video I did the other day. And I knew it was going to be a very controversial video. I knew it. But it had to be done. Because I have to enlighten my people. And I know some people are stuck in their ways. And sometimes it's hard to be a tree with it all. You understand? And you can't teach old dogs new tricks. And that's a fact. You know, because them stuck in them ways. As you say, if you hear a song over and over every day, you know, you just get for like it. You don't even know why you like it. But that's your involuntary memories working. You understand? Yeah, because that's what it does when you sleep. Because when you sleep, that's why some people say, me sleep when I'm dead. No, if you're not sleep, you're dead. A research sleep. Your body need it. It designed to get it. And if you not get it, the first thing it start affect is your nervous system. Notice when you're asleep, how you feel miserable, antagonistic, tired, dreary, every adjective under the sun, which is opposite of sprightly and bouncy and ready to go. You understand? So, saying that to say, don't be afraid to just go find out something else and then you do your own comparison. But when you come into the comment section and say me attack rubbish, I'm not mad at you. I just know say you're one of the ones that I just described a while ago. You know what I mean? You can't teach old dog new tricks. You believe, you know? You know where you learn. And it's hard to unlearn certain things, you know? I have some other videos where I go shed some knowledge. You understand me? Yeah, man. Not necessarily on the same topic, but knowledge nonetheless where you need to know. You need to know. Because it depends on your day-to-day living like the other day my post a video i soon get to the video now, but i have to talk to my people them the other day i do some research and find a video where states say uh, a lady very influential lady um she worked for berkshire hathaway top woman on wall street and she going to a big big meeting about a month ago you know yeah and she said boy we them are talking at the meeting there you know the economy got crash it i got crash I'm going to explain to you in our next video what causes that. But in a synopsis, if your gross GDP falls more than two-thirds or two-thirds or more going into your third quarter, that means the chances of recession is very, very inevitable. You understand? And that data happen right now with the global economy. So a country's GDP is very, very important. What is GDP? Your gross domestic product. Meaning, at the end of the year, at the end of the quarter, whatever you export, supposed to more than what you import. So that means a country of your self-produce for maintain its sustainability. So even though we borrow 11 loan, some people rejoicing, or oh, at least you pay back six. But paying back six still mean you owe five. <laughs> you, get, you get to be a go with this. Now, if you can't pay one out of the five, that's what the creditor depend upon because they don't need the money they need your geographics and your facilities but that's another video for another time but me just as say people instead of you bash me just take some time out man take some time out and go check trust me you'll be surprised at what you might find open your eyes your eyes been too closed for centuries man uh, anyway oh if you never see that video 
anybody a very good video over 50 minutes long idea about and the title of it is if you have an ncb account and and christianity versus science so it's a very very knowledgeable video also entertaining somewhat but you can learn a whole lot from it so i would implore you go and watch that video on the channel if you haven't done so already because trust me it will benefit you especially the ncb part too all right we talk about gilly priest enough people know him as you know the top gate man in the country yeah man gilly priest power with the stars of the stars gilly priest himself was a star some people go down just to see gilly priest yeah man in them earlier days and gilly priest was also an artist too you understand and gilly priest used to prank with all bob marley them so a long time you know gilly priest had come up at one point he used to do some farmer management for bunny wheeler or dear about you know me don't know how you know great or minimal was his capacity as a manager you know but trust me him and bunny wheeler was very close all is up at bunny wheeler office and bunny wheeler have an office up at skateland all right what you don't know now when me tell you now about the story or when me never tell you about the story was who was gilly priest's stepson <laughs> and trust me those of you who have been following the channel since its inception or since it bust, you must know about Cleaver's story. Cleaver the mean Cleaver from my channel. All right, yeah man, be deliberately left out that I see somebody that put it in the comment section. But Cleaver the mean Cleaver, who was a top top lieutenant physiques in a Spangler's them time there, he was Gilly Priest's stepson. Yeah man, Cleaver will go up against his system. I remember who and Cleaver used to par. Remember Crab? I'm going to check out the crab story, crab the king killer. Yeah, man, wicked, wicked story, man. I'm going to the history of Spanglers. So I'm going to go check out the story and I can follow up the lead up to what go on. Now, I'm telling you, say, Gilly Priest job because him all on the car. Yes, that was one. But there's a very, very, very more important reason why it cost him in life. It was because of not only the car, but what the car contained. A plethora of machinery plethora of devilers yeah a whole heap of the man them shop did in the car when cleave a drop and gilly priest get the car and get the machine them i mean you know what him do with them but when the man them call up on him feet him say i hey, am me me not nah run back nothing axe wrong move rally only a fool speaks without convey knowledge that knowledge where he might tell them them never want to hear it them don't street come like them not swim and water in them years them don't want to hear that dirt so true gilly priest now so well renowned he was in an isolated bubble where him thinks that him didn't make out a teflon or through him name and through him celebrity status in the jamaican diaspora within the dance hall fraternity him thinks that no man wouldn't dare step to him because of his historical sojourn within the dance hall realm of course but oh how wrong he was the man him say all right as in the story, I'm going to check out part one. If you can't send on the documents, a one way, dirt. So, as told in the story in more detail format, Gilly Priest had drive in the same car, a good on Walter Avenue, and the man them got some book and Jim Screech upon him. Clook, 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 clook. Drive him out of the car, mash up him head. Him did all of a passenger in the car with him. Me never tell him that part there. I mean, I'm not going to tell you if a female or male, but in the other next passenger. Who oh, no, no, and who oh, no, 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 yeah. And the passenger start big for them life. Big, no kill me, no kill me, Jesus Christ, baby, pick them a lift for, baby, pick them a lift for. And the pilgrim pint the gun and said, John, no, star, I'm dead if you're dead, you know. Well, guess what? Christmas come early, yeah. Stop! I mean, I tell you, so the pilgrim get up and lift up like a thousand body. The mount a zinky zinky tear down. <laughs> Lift up. And them go so clip clip clip. And knock two of high pilgrimage. He make them know say yo. You not see nothing. You not hear nothing. Or a dirt. Remember me tell you. Man them kick out gilly piece out of the car. And just take time. Go around the steering wheel. Like nothing not happened. And just left him right at the roadside like roadkill. Just like that. Gilly Priest was gone. Now, do you think 
he should have handed over the Monday machine, them devilers, leave it in the comment section. Gilly Priest's stepson, which was Cleavy, eventually cast him in life because just like the universe to every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Well, for want of a better word, there is always a chain reaction. So once Cleavy stepped into the world of gangsterdom, Gilly Priest's destiny was already earmarked. He would have to pay a penance for cleave his sins to the man them. So sometimes you might not directly cast your demise, you know, or your success. But sometimes you feel like with destiny already set out for you. Me not no proof for that, you understand? Because I feel like say sometimes a man create them one destiny. So me still in a, a research mode when it comes to that. So me go no more upon that. Yeah man, me still I do some serious research upon that. If life is ordained by destiny, or a man choose him one part, you know? But more than lean upon choose him one part because Father God give you free will. Him give you the knowledge to know the difference between right and wrong. You understand? Some man choose right, some man choose wrong. If you choose wrong, anything you put out in the universe, powers that be, I will bring it right back to your door. And sometime, it no work necessarily that way because sometimes you just say a pastor or some man where you know you everything, everything kind. You not give him last, give him ass and shit him ribs, and yet still some man just come rob him and kill him. But as you know, say me have other videos I come explaining that because do we on the outside we see it as bad. There's another solution, but it'll come up in our next video. You understand me? Yeah, man. I may have some more educating video I come up so. I don't know why I miss them, man. Sometimes it's not all about the violent, violent. I have to teach my people them and open their eyes. Because sometimes the move you make, it only have momentary benefits, but it have a lifelong effect of negativity and sorrow. So choose wisely. And remember, the universe works miraculously, negative and positive. Everything balance. Oh, you want balance out your life? Hmm? Some people, will never know freedom or the value of freedom let me correct myself because if you're never restrained then are enslaved then you know, how can you truly know the value of freedom that's why most i will play with it and i realize how much people are dead so you can live in a democratic society you understand me where you want to live under communism rule where you go work and be a callous up on your hand we call that can in a jamaica your hand them can up your foot them can up now the ads on when they get a pay. The soldier them come in and tell us, well, I'll fight, I forgot to John Brown and my family, you know. When they pass John Brown, every day I smoke weed on the corner. You're not going to take that. That's going to lead to uprising. Because when a people is oppressed, the only thing them can do is rebel, revolt, fight back, just like a cornered cat. You understand? So, your life's choices and decisions, it not only affects you in the interim, it affects others around you and others that are close to you and sometimes dead stranger because you go out the road and you get caught up you know in a shootout with the nemesis or the cops and make you escape and you fire your gun just to get away you know mean for shoot nobody but a little girl it's up by a bus stop i eat her cheese chicks and her socks so i can get knocked in her head look upon kalisa walker she's a victim of exactly me i speak so your choices your choices your choices your choices, your choices, your choices. Choose them wisely. And don't forget to donate to Kalisa Walker fundraising thing through Real Helping Hands. The link is in the description. I know the government not give them no money. You see me, I tell you. Some people say, I love Andrew when it's true. I say, him do a whole heap of work and him one of the most love. Maybe he can't work out for me, see, you know, how I hear. And that how I see. Well, enough people say, him have devious ways. I don't know that. And some people say, me a fiend boy, brother, I don't even know the man. I never vote in my life, you know. I never vote in a Jamaica, in a Jamaica, because me never like none of the two sides. Me never respect none of the two sides, because me know the corruption we're going on tonight. And for me, vote is like me help amplify the corruption. You understand? So, I want to get it wisely and get that out of my head. Me is no man's puppet. Based on how I speak and how I deliver my content, who is supposed to know that by now? No man can tame me because I love my freedom. Me dead feet. Yeah. Me dead for my freedom, brother. Me no born for chain up. Me born for free. Run wild like the deers on the, the plains of the steppes. 
or the African Maasai Mara or the African Serengeti. You see me? Yeah, man. So bless upon yourself for this and left it. You know what I mean? So I hope you learn something from that video. And we have some more educational video come up where you don't want to miss people because I want to go around with no, no way I affect with. And oh, before I go, these are peace in you know, my mind work a mile a minute. I talk about the video I drop with Berkshire Hathaway where them, the girl going to the meeting and say, boy, be a spa, I go on. I be a fool in the go on Wall Street and they are manipulating the market. I put that on my WhatsApp page and say, no found no one who wants to support me and join the page and go so I can come in the WhatsApp and nothing I put on YouTube and people. Because I want my people them and some take action because I know that the stock market is going to drop based on my research. I do a whole heap of research and I stay in touch with what I go on globally, especially when it comes to the economy. Yeah. And I tell them, say, yo, don't buy not another stock. Do not buy one more. If you can sell everything we have right now, me tell them. Me tell them. Me can screenshot it and show them. Me tell them. And me do the same thing. And a good thing me do it because you see after that, psst, the market does a tumble and guess what? It's going to bottom out. It's going to bottom out. You know what I bet me? Not just the war I go on over, so you know. A several, several mitigating factors. You understand me? We are feed, feed the beast, the recession beast. Several mitigating factors. The stock market has got crash, it has got bottom out. So if you can hold your money, wait till it bottom out, and go so boom and buy up some. That are your best bet. But long time over a month ago, two, three, two, three, two, three weeks to a month, but put that and warn me people. So who no one coming at the Patreon talk to Uno? And I can say sometimes you so much thousands of dollars people save. You know much thousands of dollars people save as opposed to be a ten dollar fifteen or twenty dollar five dollar a month. You never know. Me do the work for no. And that me I do. You understand? So big up all my patrons and my WhatsApp patron group with the pandemic. Bless up and keep it running because it run at twenty four seven. All kind of topics, alright? Bless up. Well I'm gonna stay out of trouble. But if you choose to pick up the gun or the knife, then there's a chance you might end up in two island stories. What? Well you choose uh